Hello, and welcome to Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. There is a verse that is repeated six times in the Old Testament that after recent events certainly seem to intrude to me today. For reference, one of the places the verse is stated is Psalm 118, verse 1. Give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. The interview I attended on the 29th of October was very brief and uneventful. Hopefully my wife's benefits are safe, and that's work. The responsibility was firmly placed back into my hands, and I in turn placed that back into God's hands. It's Leviticus 16 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus Chapter 16 Yahweh spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron when they came near before Yahweh and died and Yahweh said to Moses Tell Aaron your brother not to come at all times into the most holy place within the veil before the mercy seat which is on the ark lest he die for I will appear in the cloud on the mercy seat Aaron shall come into the sanctuary with a young bull for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering he shall put on the holy linen coat. He shall have the linen breeches, his body. I shall put on the linen shash. They shall be clothed with a linen turban. They are holy garments. He shall bathe his body in water and put them on. He shall take from the congregation of the children of Israel two male goats for sin offering and one ram for burnt offering. I shall offer the bull of the sin offering, which is for himself. Seek forgiveness for himself and for his house. He shall take two goats and set them before Yahweh at the door of the tent of meeting. Aaron shall cast lots for the two goats, one lot for Yahweh, and the other lot for the scapegoat. Aaron shall present the goat on which the lot fell for Yahweh, and offer him for a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell for the scapegoat shall be presented alive before Yahweh to seek forgiveness for him. Send him away for the scapegoat into the wilderness. Aaron shall present the bull of the sin offering, which is for himself, and shall seek forgiveness for himself and for his house, and shall kill the bull of the sin offering, which is for himself. He shall take a censer full of coals of fire from off the altar before Yahweh, and two handfuls of sweet incense beaten and small, and bring it within the veil. He shall put the incense on the fire before Yahweh, that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat that is on the testimony, so that he will not die. He shall take some of the blood of the bull, and sprinkle it with his finger on the mercy seat on the east. Before the mercy seat, he shall sprinkle some of the blood with his finger seven times. Then he shall kill the goat at sin offering, as this for the people, and bring his blood within the veil, and do with his blood as he did with the blood of the bull, and sprinkle it on the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. He shall request cleansing for the holy place, because of the uncleanness of the children of Israel, and because of their wicked acts even all their sins. And so he shall do for the tent of meeting that dwells with them in the middle of their uncleanness. No one shall be in the tent of meeting when he enters to request cleansing in the holy place until he comes out and has sought forgiveness for himself and for his household and for all the assembly of Israel. He shall go out to the altar that is before Yahweh and request cleansing for it and shall take some of the bull's blood, some of the goat's blood and put it around on the horns of the altar. He shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with his finger seven times and cleanse it, and make it holy from the uncleanness of the children of Israel. When he has finished requesting cleansing for the holy place, the tent of meeting and the altar, he shall present the live goat. Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat, and confess over him all the wicked acts of the children of Israel, and all their evil deeds, even all their sins, and he shall put them on the head of the goat, and shall send them away into the wilderness. By the hand of a man who is in readiness, the goat shall carry all their sins on himself to a solitary land, and he shall let the goat go into the wilderness. Aaron shall come into the tent of meeting, and shall take off the linen garments, which he put on when he went into the holy place, and shall leave them there. Then he shall bathe himself in water in the holy place, and put on his garments, come out and offer his burnt offering and a burnt offering of the people and seek forgiveness for himself and for the people the fat of the sin offering he shall burn on the altar he who lets the goat go for the scapegoat shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water and afterward he shall come into the camp 
The bull for the sin offering and the goat for the sin offering, whose blood was brought in to request cleansing in the holy place, shall be carried outside the camp, and they shall burn their skins, their flesh, and their dung with fire. He who burns them shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. It shall be a law to you forever. In the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls, and, you, and shall do no kind of work. The native born, or the stranger who lives as a foreigner among you, on this day shall forgiveness be given to you. Cleanse you from all your sins, you shall be clean before Yahweh. It is a Sabbath of solemn rest to you. You shall afflict your souls, it is a law forever. The priest who is anointed, and who is called by Yahweh to be priest in this father's place, shall seek the forgiveness, and shall put on the linen garments, even the holy garments. And he shall request cleansing for the holy sanctuary, and he shall request cleansing for the tent of meeting for the altar. And he shall seek forgiveness for the priests and for all the people of the assembly. This shall be an everlasting law to you, to seek forgiveness for the children of Israel once in the year because of all their sins. It was done as Yahweh commanded Moses.